Hello again everyone, we are back for more Stellaris. I really hope that there will happen, something will happen this episode, although I hope is rather small. We can uh, at least study these guys, we are in the Renaissance. Being in the Renaissance and unemployed is Construction complete. well. It's not the most enjoyable thing in the world, I assume. Colony established. No stairs. And I'm uh, running full on my uh, stuff, so I need more Corvettes. Definitely need more Corvettes. Fleet power is now almost 9000. It's great. And yeah, although we are playing on insane, it's uh, not looking too interesting. And in part, that is because of how insane is implemented. It's even more stupid than deity in Civ. On, on deity, at least you can interact with the others and exploit the diplomacy so that well diplomacy means something but here's here's oh, oh my god it's so bad fringe elements have banded together to form a quasi religious organization yes this is worrying still have those improbable ceramics Well, that's not really a good deal then, is it? Um, yeah. How about some non-aggression? No research agreement then. Um, star charts. Well, okay. Getting coalition. Let's see. The Flower Temple and its followers now make up a sizable minority of the population on Bakangi, and reports indicate a disturbing change in the movement. Their futile attempts to smuggle Marin Karin specimen of world have been growing less enthusiastic by the day, as the Flower Temple seems to be transitioning into, into a doomsday cult. It's likely a correlation of the recent changes. Special project has been prepared. Sense of impending doom.
Um, star charts. Not very much use, but. at least something special project complete okay Quick and decisive action allowed us to identify the risks associated with rapid changes. Blah blah blah. Plans for mutating the scientists. Colonization council theorized that this is part of a natural cycle. And all traces have been purged. Okay, so it's a very long quest chain that has absolutely no consequences. That's great. It's a wasted opportunity, if you ask me. Need that colony ship. There's the biolabs. And let's take a look. Um, ship upgrade costs might be very useful, to be honest. Now let's just make sure we have that before we have to do the next batch of upgrades. And um, where did I make that? Military Academy. So, I'm gonna order you to make some xenomorphs. We have learned a great deal by living in proximity to the wandering forests. Very useful. I'm gonna modify the uh, transport ship designs. Well, sure. we want some shields on them. Guess not. That's fine. Let the vaults fill up. I will occasionally toss some stuff around the sectors. Just to make sure they keep running. Mm, when is the next tech? In three months we can assist research. So let's see what we have. This guy, yeah. Let's send this guy here. Even though he won't be around very long. This guy can go to Swamp Star. The other guy, well, the empty sign ship can go to Ugrim. Take some guy on board. Okay. 
reducing costs of course also very powerful just means that uh, transmission a trade deal star charts the Sintomorai Commonwealth Sintomorai Commonwealth those guys yeah sure Research complete. There we go, assist research. Um not very useful. This will take too long. So I'm gonna go for the research alternatives first. It's uh, not too long and it will probably get me some good stuff earlier. It's not as important as when you have the other government forms, but it won't hurt. There wasn't anything there that I particularly urgently needed. Let's check it out. You just build stuff. The ship. You also build stuff. There we go. Construction complete. It's very liberating to just have the resources for whatever you want to do. Construction complete. It's really nice. Colony established. You can burn them all. And it won't matter much because they replenish so quickly. Hmm, let's see. Well, let's just get that one. That means we are done with colonizing worlds. We can theoretically still get this, I think. But I don't want to encroach on them too much. Definitely don't want to accidentally grab one of these worlds. That would be thoroughly unpleasant. For now. Construction complete. We built more carpets. And uh, yeah. Engineering facility 3 and 4. That's what we're gonna research. And um, next up is the uh, reduced ship upgrade cost. Mm 
Look at that goal. 300 a month is really nice to have. That means you have lost all that pressure. And all that waiting time. Just so annoying. But I understand. It's just that there are a few problems inherent to the way the economy is structured that you never have enough of stuff until you have too much. Construction and complete. That's an inherent imbalance in the system that is not present in Civ. Well, not to this extent at least. Well, you can't have too much uh, production and having too much gold, well, it takes very, very long. This is something I would like. The one I really want isn't here, but it's a sheet so it won't take too long. Just 23 months. I just feel really bad for these guys. Maybe I should have uh, gone for the ocean colonization when I had the chance. It's a little late for that now, but we did have an opportunity to do it and I passed up on it. Perhaps that was wrong. We have seven more ships queued. We'll build five more. These guys take insanely long to build. Um, I don't know if you know this, but you can improve each one of these things by clicking on it and then adding an attachment. I'm not gonna do that now, but you can do it. So, something you should remember. And our research is going in the direction of 200, which is a Pretty good number, I think, for this part of the game. These one yield science things, I'm gonna take them sometime soon. We have a decent energy output now, so we can support it this point I think the complete. one point of research is better than the one point of energy. Okay, so these guys have gone up. First we improve the farms. Um not sure what I want to do with this world. Not sure where it lies. It lies here. So, yeah, I'll make it somewhat all-purpose, I guess. I'll build an energy thing, I'll grow it. Nope. Uldrug has a pretty good yield here. Construction complete. Okay. Clear the crap. 
we'll build more of it. We just need some time and some growth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should have enough food. Nice. And yeah, we probably should be expanding, but <laughs> going after the Otaga Union, it's between two fallen empires if they do take offense, because this one's territorial. They are isolationists, so if we grab them and it's too close, then they might get angry. So, and, and these, all these empires are near them. These guys, they're probably gonna get fucked over by them at some point. So that pretty much leaves the uh, Igerian cartel. Anyway, that will be all for this episode. See you next time.